you should be able to answer this problem this is a quite easy problem we have already discussed this kind of concept in class So this is hydrazone of aldehyde and ketone are not prepared in highly acidic medium. You see, we have said in the class. So you have an aldehyde or ketone. So let us say here you have aldehyde or ketone. Now if you treat this compound with NH2OH uh, what happens in this reaction is one molecule of H2O gets lost and finally we will have C double bond NOH and that is the formation of oxime. So this molecule is called oxime. Now see what is the mechanism of oxime formation. You see in this reaction this is basically acid catalyzed. So what happens in the first step the, prot the carbonylic oxygen get protonated and in the next step now nitrogen acts as a nucleophile and it attacks on the corresponding carbon. So if attacks on the carbon, this one opens up or getting and then it will corresponding get the product. Now this means I require the medium should be slightly acidic that will protonate the oxygen and it will facilitate the attack of nitrogen. So I need a medium slightly acidic. So to proceed the reaction. We need acidic medium. But what happens if the medium is too acidic? In that case, you have NH2OH and this also gets protonated. So, what happens? This will form NH3 plus OH. Now in this case this nitrogen is not a good nucleophile. So at high pH that is, a, that is basically at very highly acidic medium not high pH. So in acidic medium in highly acidic medium acidic medium nucleophile gets protonated. gets protonated and that basically retards the reaction. So I need a optimum pH. So this reaction if you see the graph we have already discussed. If you have a very low pH the rate is very slow. If you have a very high pH again rate is very low. So this means I need a optimum pH and this comes out to be around 4.75. So this optimum pH is around 4.75, slightly acidic, less than 7, slightly acidic. So optimum pH is around 4.75. I don't remember exactly. So optimum pH is around 4.75. That is slightly acidic. Let us discuss the next problem.